Dr. Dale Henry is founder and president of Your Best Unlimited. His many experiences in the field of business and education make him a natural when it comes to lively presentations. Although a master when it comes to the use of humor and laughter, Dale's presentations always deliver an inspirational message packed with useful tools that promote leadership and self-development. These many gifts are blended together to produce one of America's premier speakers and seminar leaders. Now listen, laugh, delight, and learn as Dr. Dale Henry takes you for a stroll back to the future for a down-home look at the six qualities that cause our leadership style to sizzle or fizzle. Beautiful. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. Coaches in the back. Okay, ready? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Much better. I like that. Thank you for letting me come today. Thank you for sharing your time with me. Because after all, that's the most valuable thing we own. And I am so honored that you've allowed me to come here and talk to you. I'm a teacher. And I could not even begin to talk to you today without telling you how that started. I was about six years old when I decided I wanted to be a teacher. And I think that probably echoes some of the things that have happened maybe in your life. But I went to my grandfather, who was my mentor and my wisdom in my youth. And I said, Pap, I'm going to be a teacher. And he looked at me and cocked his head a little bit, and he said, well, son, you know, to be a teacher, you have to deal with other people's children. Smart man, my papa. <laughs> I said, Pappy, I know that. I, I understand that. He said, no, son, I don't think you do understand. You see, kids are like gas. Yours is bad enough, but somebody else's... <laughs> this morning to, to talk to you a little while and spend maybe a few moments talking about some of the homespun things that have happened to me in my life that really, when I think about it, is so part of me that I can't tell where that stuff ends and where I sort of begin. I'm sure you've noticed this little porch up here on the stage and a lot of you are probably wondering, is he going to get up there and get in that chair and go to sleep? Is he going to cover up with that quilt, or is he going to set in that bucket? Well, <laughs> neither one of those. But I brought it because it reminds me of sort of where I came from. I was raised in a small town, didn't have much when I was growing up. As a matter of fact, uh, I was pretty old in elementary school, almost in high school, before we got indoor plumbing, and I'm not that old. So I know what it's like to come from a background that uh, isn't what you would call the best. But I use that, and I feel comfortable with that, because I think I learned from it. And I think each and every one of you have learned from your past as well. Sitting on that porch, I can remember my grandfather and my grandmother and my mom and my dad and my cousins and my uncles and aunts. And, We'd all sit up there on that porch, and I would listen to their words of wisdom. And around the 4th of July, my dad would always drive me to Greenback and let me pick up some fireworks, and that was a special time in my life, and I always enjoyed shooting those fireworks off. This one particular 4th of July, I was out in the yard shooting fireworks, and I saved this one firework to the last because it was the biggest thing I'd bought. You know, we save those things that are most precious to do the very last. And I pulled it out of my pocket, it just so happens, that's not it. Just so happens I have that, those are Tic Tacs, by the way, those aren't uh, fireworks. I have one of those boxes, and I actually saved this in my closet for a number of years. I'm a teacher, you know how we do things, we save stuff forever. <laughs> and I looked at this one day, and because I remember as a child opening this box, and it's called a, it's called a sizzler. Supposed to run along the ground making this screaming noise. And I remember as a child turning it over and reading, caution, use only under close adult supervision. So they were on the porch, I figure I'm okay here. Outdoor use only. 
Good idea. Place on level surface, light fuse, and get away. <laughs> Good advice. So I stepped off of that porch. And I laid it down on a level surface. My dad gave me a match. I lit it, and I got away. Ready for this exciting thing that was going to happen. And I looked at that box, and the fuse got shorter and shorter. And my anticipation grew with every second. And all of a sudden, it lit, and it went. <laughs> I didn't expect it to go. <laughs> all that excitement for nothing. My grandfather was sitting on the front porch, and he said, Son, that looked more like a fizzler than a sizzler. <laughs> and I had to agree with him. I wanted to talk to you today about fizzle and sizzle, and I couldn't think of any other word that I think better would help me through this program than to use the word leader. So you'll notice that my presentation today is a takeoff of that word. And we're going to talk about the components that I think make an excellent leader. First letter and later.